Hey man, it's me, Kevin Smith, and we are here at the IMDb studio at Sundance 2018. And guess what? I'm here with the director and the cast of Mandy. Give it up for him, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Talk about your role here in Mandy, man. I've seen some imagery from it. Brutal. Yeah. Looks well, like you're using that physical force in this movie. What happened was, um, you know, I'd seen Beyond the Black Rainbow, which blew my mind. It would be right, right up your alley. Yeah, and I, I uh, didn't sleep for a week after that. And I had read the script, Mandy, and um, I really liked the Red character. And then I sat down with uh, Panos and we talked about it. And he said, well, this is a movie about youth versus age. And I don't see you as Red. I see you as uh, Jeremiah Sand. And I just didn't feel I had the wherewithal to play Jeremiah San authentically. And eventually, Pan, I said, well, I can see you as Red. Um, and I'm glad it worked out that way, because I think it was the right combination of energies. We, we really had our heart set on, uh, on Nick for, for Sand. So when he said no and that he wanted to play Red, it kind of you know, took me aback. And so at first, I was like, no, no, like, we, uh, you know, I wanted you for Sand. And we walked away. And then one morning, I woke up, and I was like, uh, I must be stupid because <laughs> Nicolas Cage wants to play Red Miller and that would be f amazing. <laughs> Linus, take us, take us into Jeremiah, the role that he didn't want that you were able to abscond with. Well, I'm glad Nick turned it down. You know? <laughs> uh, uh, well, Panos has created this crazy sort of narcissistic, maniacal character who thinks he's enlightened, he's God's gift to the humanity and the universe. But like Nick said, what I saw he captured... Uh, on the page was something quite tragic and flawed and human. And uh, in some weird way, my sort of narcissistic uh, introspection that I've spent time looking at, I could see the male ego revealed in all of its horrible glory. And so it was an opportunity to kind of just put that out on the screen and hold nothing back. And so I knew it was kind of on me to do that. And Panos was there to support me. And, and working with this guy, just to say, to back up what you were saying, Kevin, I mean, He's an icon, and I'm being asked to play a scene with Nick Cage. I was like, wow. Nick was just great, because he said, come on, man. We're enemies. Let's not even talk, you know? <laughs> so we, we didn't, and we didn't, and we on set, we just kept really cool, stayed in our zone, and I've rarely had the opportunity to work like that, and it was a gift. In that, I suppose, you go beyond fear. You yeah, know? We would spend hours sitting this close, saying not a word for hours, <laughs> six hours sometimes in between setups. People are like, what's not it like to word. work with Nick Cage? You're like, very quiet. <laughs> <laughs>